Hello. Today I'm going to talk about AI, but please don't go away. I, I know it's, uh, it can be very boring, and I know that uh, there are uh, videos all over the internet about uh, about AI, but I, I don't think many people are really considering just how absolutely profound the changes AI are going to bring. And uh, I, I just want to talk about how I see things developing and how things are likely to be after we've all got used to having AI. I, I think it's a bit like being on one of those islands in the Pacific, you know, when you know there's a tsunami coming. You know, it's going to be terrible. It's going to be very disruptive, and you just hope that you're not going to be wiped out. You hope you're going to be standing afterwards, and uh, and you have no idea really what a change it's going to it's going to make. And in the meantime, you're just carrying on with business as usual, trying to trying to forget about it. Now, uh, I I remember when I first started in business, it was in a long time ago, and uh, people didn't have computers. You know, your records were kept by hand, you, 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 you write everything down in ledgers and so on, and uh, even invoices were very often written by hand, and then uh, occasionally people would employ a typist to type out the invoices. But nonetheless, it was all, it was all manual, it was all very time consuming, it was very inefficient. And uh, as soon as it was, as soon as uh, computers became available, they were quite expensive. But I, I thought this was a huge, uh, a huge opportunity to get an advantage over competitors by being more efficient. And, and, and indeed, I got this, got this computer with these floppy disks and all the rest, the, the, the sort of thing that took five minutes to warm up and then get started. But nonetheless, from then on, if I wanted to know uh, how much money I was owed, which customers owed me, if I wanted to know what like, stock I got and, and uh, when I needed to reorder stock, so it was all on the computer, just printed out, printed out. It became very inefficient. It became very, very efficient and, uh, and gave me an advantage. And, and of course, I wasn't the only person to realise this. Thousands of other people did. And more and more people started uh, getting computers until, you know, after a few years, every small business had a computer. And indeed, it's it's unimaginable the the idea of running a a business without a computer now. You just just really couldn't couldn't compete. But since then, the yeah, computers have got better and better and cheaper and cheaper. But uh, two, two two significant things have happened. And the first was uh, the internet, and uh, uh, the internet changed all our lives extremely extremely quickly. Uh, I mean, in a matter of a few years, we we suddenly had. Oh, access to this almost unlimited amount of, of information it was tremendously beneficial and it is a wonderful thing which uh, you know we, we'd have a job to to, to, to to do without quite frankly and uh, next came uh, the smartphone whereby we had the internet I I in our pockets and we had access to uh, to just about all information and uh, and we we're able to communicate and do so many other things just on this little gadget in the pocket now both the internet and smartphones created hundreds of thousands probably millions of jobs many millions of jobs uh, and they continue to do so but what is going to happen now is that we're going to have uh, we're going to have ai artificial intelligence uh, uh, and that is quite different it's different in as much as it's it's going to be much more uh, profound the effect it's going to have on all of us and it's going to destroy jobs it's going to destroy jobs in the way that the internet created jobs uh, and that's something we need to be really really concerned about and i don't think people are yet beginning to understand just how how big a change it's going to be you know a lot of people say oh well you know it's 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 all it's a bubble it's a bubble a lot of talk about it being a bubble now because we know that it's being controlled in america by half a dozen dozen ginormous firms uh, and a lot of them are getting into debt a lot of spending all sorts of uh, uh, unimaginable amounts of money on on data sensors or all, all the rest of it but it's not a bubble it's not a bubble this is the future everybody knows it's the future uh, and these firms are not all going to go go bust because they can't afford to to, to pursue this uh, and besides which there's a race now between america and, Ch and china as to who is going to be the first to dominate ai and whoever it is is going to probably uh, dominate the, uh, the, the the whole world for, for for the rest of the century people will say like things like they'll say well you know it will, it will always be it will always be in control and always switch it off well i, I think that's a that's, that's silly isn't it i mean imagine switching off the internet if that if that became troublesome i mean just yeah it's ridiculous uh, and people will say that well oh, they, oh, they need too much power and they need too much water and so on you know it's this is it, it's bigger than that they'll find the electricity they'll find the water they'll the the, the, the it, 
This is just to let you know that I do have a, a new channel where I discuss uh, all sorts of different subjects, fairly short videos, uh, things like does God exist and is there life after death and, uh, and what's the secret of happiness and so on. And uh, in case you might find it of interest, it's called Michael Lambert, uh, something to think about. I'll leave a link down below and uh, and if you've got a few minutes, please, please take a look and see what you think. Uh, the big difference, of course, with uh, AI, with uh, uh, other computing, is that it, it is able to think. It's able to take into account all sorts of factors and, uh, and come to decisions, and to do so very, very quickly in a way that uh, is far beyond the ability of uh, a human brain. Uh, and that's why it is so powerful and so frightening, uh, and uh, it's going to be so so important. Uh, I mean, already uh, uh, people are using uh, AI, uh, for example, uh, uh, people in logistics, people in accountants, people in uh, uh, even local authorities are beginning to use AI. Uh, and banks, for example, use AI. When was the last time anybody went to the bank for a loan and spoke to a human being? I mean, AI decides everything. And, uh, and, and, and the consequence of all this is that um, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be uh, uh, redundant. Uh, the, 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 there are going to be an awful lot of jobs that are going to disappear. Let, let me give you an example, going back to the, uh, uh, the small business. Suppose you've got a small business and it's got uh, three three people who, uh, who who run it, three directors. Now they've uh, uh, they buy and sell products and they design the products. So uh, over the years they've got products designed and they've uh, uh, and they've got them made and they've uh, sold them and they've advertised them and promoted them and they've run the business and collected the money and employed people and arranged deliveries. All the stuff you have to do when you uh, when you run a business and they're doing okay they're making a living and and uh, and, and, and so on and, and, and everything everything's fine but then one day they get a fourth director who's uh who's ai uh, uh, and this guy is the uh cleverest person that's ever lived this guy knows more information than any other human being has ever known before. It knows how to access information. It knows how to research. It can perform calculations uh, in a millionth of a second. Now, the three directors are going to defer to this AI, are they not? Uh, and the AI will take over all decisions in the business because it will know better. And despite the experience the other guys have got, Despite the fact that they've uh, spent years learning and making mistakes and losing money and being inefficient sometimes, AI is not going to do that. AI will know the best way to, to buy. It'll know the most efficient way to ship, the most efficient way to store, the most uh, uh, efficient way you can employ anyone you need to employ, the most efficient way to do, distribute. It'll know all of this, and it'll do better than any human being can do. Well, what's going to happen is that those three directors will say after a while, well, you know, let him get on with it. Let's go and play golf. Uh, and they make more money doing nothing. Uh, and any competitor is going to really, really struggle against a firm that's so efficient. Uh, and so other firms will have to employ AI as well. Uh, and if you don't have AI, like my example with the computers previously, it, without a computer, you couldn't have stayed in business very long. Without AI, you'll get to a stage that without AI, you'll not be able to survive in business. And it's not just it's not just business. It's uh, it's for example local authorities. Uh, and it's it's hospital. Imagine AI running a hospital. How much more efficient it would be. It wouldn't be able to provide treatment, of course, but in terms of appointments and uh, and uh, supplies and uh, and logistics and uh, and working out who works when and most efficiently and so on. It took some transformative. And more and more people are going to realise very, very quickly how much AI is going to become a vital part of their their, their businesses, their organisations that they're running. And eventually it'll, it, 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 it will be used more and more in government. I think it's used a little bit in government now. I think in, in the civil servants they're using a bit of AI, but it, it will gradually become more and more and more because it'll make things more efficient, easier, more profitable, save money, and we'll not be able to do without it. But, and this is the this is the problem, it's going to create mass unemployment. You, you know, what do you do when maybe half the workforce are, are redundant, that they're not needed? 
Uh, what do you do with a huge number of people who've got nothing to do? No purpose in life. Uh, how are they going to live? Who's going who's to pay them? Are, are we going to have to have some sort of universal income for everybody? Uh, and what sort of mental illness, what sort of crime are we going to have when people have got nothing to do? And what are we going to teach children in, in school if there aren't going to be many jobs? What, what are we going to teach them? And so there's this huge, huge problem that accompanies all the benefits that AI are going to, going to bring us. And, and the other aspect of it is also this, that, as I said before, we've all got smartphones, you've got a smartphone in your pocket, you want to know what the, the capital of Syria is, and you get your phone out and, and, and it tells you. Uh, but it's, it, it's all information. But supposing instead you want advice on something, you want to know, you know, well, I'm going to buy a bicycle, which one should I buy? Uh, and you want a, yeah, a, a proper researched answer, and you can get it instantly because you've got AI in your pocket, and he knows, uh, or the AI knows that uh, you know this, the whole of the bicycle market knows what's available, knows what the prices are, and it can tell you right away. Therefore, you don't have to think really. Uh, and when that extends to you know what am I going to have for supper, or where am I going to go on my holidays, and all these other things, where you're going to start relying more and more and more on the artificial intelligence in your pocket uh, and uh, you'll make far far fewer mistakes that way and so what are we going to think about we're going to have very little to think about uh, half us well, maybe more will have no jobs i mean almost all jobs are vulnerable sooner or later and we have all this spare time and nothing to think about because we've got AI to make decisions for us. And so I think that's going to be a big, big problem, which I don't think we're even beginning to think about. And so I see a world without, within a very short space of time. This is going to happen very, very quickly. This is, this is the, the point which I think few people realise it's going to happen so quickly. Everyone is going to want to use AI because it's going to give them an advantage. Uh, and uh, you're going to get to a stage where the, the whole world is run by these uh, these machines. Uh, and the only people who will really uh, uh, matter in terms of what happens uh, will be the people who control them, you know, the, the controllers, the people who own the big big tech companies, these mighty tech companies. But in, in due course, even they will be replaced by AI because AI will eventually take over. Uh, and... Uh, uh, and in the meantime, uh, AI will collect the records of all our lives. So they'll all be documented and all be available on huge, huge central databases. Uh, and uh, we're just going to be like insects controlled by this AI. And uh, although it's terribly dystopian and terribly uh, worrying, I think we, we, we should be talking about it. As I say, I think it's the most important issue uh, facing us right now. And uh, I, I, I can only repeat again, it's going to happen very, very, very quickly. You watch what areas, how quickly areas, different areas of our lives and uh, of the uh, organisations we interact with are, are going to be taken over by AI. And we've seen how... Uh, to a certain extent, you know, automation on, uh, I mean, how often do you actually speak to anyone on the telephone? How often can you actually go and see someone about anything if there's a, a, a tech alternative? And so, uh, whilst it's, uh, it's quite exciting, it's also, I think, quite quite depressing and quite, quite worrying. But um, anyway, that's what I really <laughs> think about it. Um, if you've watched this far and you've found this of any interest or you're also concerned about uh, uh, about the future, please leave a comment and uh, and perhaps I'll do a second video, a follow-up video, uh, and, and we'll talk about some of your, uh, your comments. But anyway, as I say, if you've watched this far, thank you very much indeed, as, as, as always. And uh, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do so. And so until next week, uh, thanks again and bye for now.